Hey guys, it's the FM Gaffer here, and welcome to episode 3 of my quest for European glory with Newcastle United. Now, it's been a week since I've brung out a video, um, and I apologise for that. I've been sorting out thumbnails and new computers and everything. But yeah, I should be um, returning to my normal, like, video a day, or maybe a little bit less than that, but yeah. So, um, straight into it, um, we've had a bid from Burnley for Paul Dummett, uh, the young young left back that I was trying to sell. And also, Crystal Palace made a bid for Williamson. So, um, we're looking to accept these because they offered exactly what I offered to clubs and um, all in full. So, yeah, 1.3 and 1.6 million pounds for them. So, um, hopefully, that can go into my transfer budget and I can get a few more players. Or maybe I'll put it back into the wage budget, I'm not sure. Um, I'm just going to check whether we get all of the money for it. Uh, where do we go? I think it's finances. Uh, yeah, it's percentage of transfer revenue made available, we get 100% of it. So all of that will go straight back into the budget. So that's really good. So yeah, we got a question from Marx Malgarvis. I don't know. Um, about Vernon Anita. Yeah, well, we um, offered him to clubs. So yeah, I am willing to listen to any offers for him. Um, so yeah, I want him to uh, go, if that makes sense. Uh, but yeah, uh, had loan offers for Bigger Amana from Wolves and Birmingham. Uh, both all 100% of wages, which is good. Uh, he's um he he's a really good player. He looks like he's going to have a lot of well a decent potential in the future. Uh, let's just look at his report here. See, he's got four and a half star or three and a half star potential ability, minimum, and then four and a half star maximum. So yeah, that's really good. Um, he says potential to be a key member of the first team squad. So um that's great. Uh, so I'm just going to send him out on loan to one of these. Uh, I'll just accept both, and he can just choose. I just to accept. Just to accept all offers. So don't show that message again. Yes, that's what I want to do. Okay, continue. So yeah, we got Gateshead coming up in a couple of days, which is what I'll cover in this episode. Um, and then we'll probably look to cover the Oldham game in the next, as well as obviously all the transfer stuff, because I've made a bid on quite a few players. I didn't realise actually how many I did. But um, I do want a big squad because you need that for Europe. Um, so yeah, might as well start now. And yeah, we'll be lo um, looking to loan out some of our uh, younger players and obviously sell some of the deadwood in our squad. So it will probably reduce, um, not probably as much, but it'll, it'll have more players than I started with. But yeah, we need a big squad. So And yeah, I want to compete in on all three English competitions, obviously the Premier League, the FA Cup and the League Cup. So yeah, I want I want to challenge. Well, I doubt I'll challenge for the title, but cha um, do as best as I can in all three competitions. None of them are like more important. Well, I guess the league is more important, but when you're trying to qualify for the Europa League, it's not. So yeah, yeah, you just gotta like judge it as it comes. But yeah, here we go. Um, gaffer, gaffer, ready to let any to go. So yeah, that question um, that the uh, journalist asked me about Vernon Anita, just saying, yeah, I'm willing to listen to any offers, but there are no offers. The next, uh, right, um, yeah, Anita, they don't, Valencia are rumoured to be interested in making an offer. Well, that's so annoying, because then they, usually they make an offer later. But yeah, so hopefully we've got that transfer budget, so I'm just going to go on to finances. No, it's board, isn't it? Board, and just put that back in the wage budget. Oh, is it done automatically? Have we not got them yet? Because we had, we had that before. I think it was exactly the same like money. But I could just put a bit there anyway. Because, um, I put it to a one million eighteen. So yeah, we still got seven million in the bank. But hopefully we'll get a little bit more than that from the transfer deals. Because I don't think they've actually added to the budget. Yet. Um, Tim Cruel, no, I'm not sounding cruel. That is, uh, yeah, I've decided I'm just I'm going to reject any offer for him because he's one of our best players. So yeah, his. Darren Bent, uh, I don't know why it says he's going to be a backup, because he's not, but I'll put him on, actually, can I get him on first team, and with that wage, no, so I'll put him on key player, but I'll put the signing on fee and the agent fee down to zero, hopefully we can get them as low as possible, because they affect your transfer budget, so yeah, he's, oh, he's made that non-negotiable, that agent fee, uh, but now he wants a lot more money, because he's a key player rather than a backup, which is fair enough, I guess, but you're not getting it so I'm just going to bring it back down probably lower to what we originally said because he's made that non-negotiable I should put signing on for you at 500,000 it's just those terms okay he still wants a lot more money so I'm just going to put that down to 750 and yeah 
I'll put that to 70 and I'll add some bonuses like winning the Capital One Cup and winning the FA Cup. Hopefully that'll make him fine. Yeah, he's happy with that. I actually wasn't expecting that. I thought you would um try and get a bit more out of me, but there you go. So yeah, hopefully we can sign him in the next couple of days. Okay, so the second signing here. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, Colo Torre for 275000 Yes, he's going to have a big wage, but I think that's worth it because he is a solid player. He can always come in. Like, yeah, I think he'll be an important player for us. But yeah, so I'll put that signing on fee down and suggest those terms. Mm, I, I don't want the big signing on fee. Because basically right now, if, I accept, if he accepts even this, like without negotiating it, um, that's I'm paying more in his contract than I am for the actual player, so that's just stupid. But yeah, I'm let down 61k. Except, oh, um, just put up a bit. I put it to like 375. There you go. 61 again. He doesn't accept this. Oh no, he does. Okay, so finalize the deal. Hopefully we can get Torre and yeah, Torre and um, what's his face, Taron Bent in the other um soon as possible because they're two experienced players that I think are really gonna like help us get into that get into those European places so yeah here's Max Gradle um he's a good young man he used to play for Leeds um he attracted interest from the Premier League at the time but then he moved to Saint Etienne in France um but yeah I'm looking to bring him back over and I'm just going to accept those demands because I know I negotiated in the last episode a bit but um yeah I'm just fine with it whatever because um I'm gonna get more money in a minute and uh, in a minute in um in in a day or so so hopefully we can just like be a bit nicer to like on negotiations but yeah so yeah I've confirmed the deal um Anderson moving on loan here so we've got a future fee f on, uh, for him and uh, we're paying no none of his wages where's the contract contract info <laughs> so we look at his loan oh where's his loan oh it won't have it yet until tomorrow because hasn't officially gone through or whatever so yeah when when it comes up here we go oh we've got to do Gradle's contract first oh, I hate when I do this they're like oh, offer me a contract and I'll tell you if it's good enough but they they all they know what they want because they just do it. what Six. why is it so low put on key player it's a bit better. I'll put thirty nine point five K signing on fee two fifty one hundred Jeff. Really? Oh, maybe I shouldn't have done it so well. Okay, yeah, well he's accepted that, that's good. And here's yeah, Mar Martin Ol uh, Marcus Olsen. It's two. Um yeah, he's a he I think he'll be a decent like rotation player with the other left wingers or left backs at the club. Um, I think he can play both, I'm not sure. Mm, yeah, he can play both. He's mainly a left back though. Um, so yeah, he'll be a good rotation player. Uh, so if we can just offer him a contract. He, he he wants very low wage. If I put rotation, can I afford it? I'll try that. Yeah, so maybe maybe if I'd offered um, grade or something like that. Uh, I'll put first team then. Oh, I don't want to put key player. Well, I can put the key player and then just change it, but then he might get mad, so... <laughs> but, a little higher wage. Yes. Fine with that, good. Finalised deal. So, yeah, there we got Anton. So, if we look at his contract... Contract... Can you not do that on here? I'll just call him. Uh, contract info. So, his loan contract, we're playing... Which one is it? We're playing 31.5,000 per... Oh, no, we are we are playing some of his wages, I think. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think he's like fifty fifty percent or something. And we're also paying a small loan fee, so um, yeah, that's not too bad. But yeah, I didn't think we were playing any paying any con contract. Yeah, yeah, we're paying half. So if you see it, sixty thousand, thirty thousand. So when we're, we're not paying any monthly fee anyway. Um, so yeah, we got a future fee of two point six million if he performs on him. But um, I don't think I don't think I will enforce that unless he's like really good but it's just nice to have as a, a player i can call upon if i need it so yeah continue hopefully those transfers can go through and here we go gradle um so eight hundred twenty five thousand. see like that's six hundred thousand for him and then the signing on fee and the agent fee in his contract i think i offered him too much but oh well uh except that 
and yeah hopefully he can be good for us so just skipping through this just trying to confirm all the transfers or oh, i'll tell colors you need to welcome into the club or whatever just put that one whatever he always says I've, I've never seen a captain say no i'm not doing that so i just um yeah go with it so yeah hopefully anderson can probably play in this friendly as maybe gradle can i assume gradle can um but yeah they're probably the two that will be able to get involved but i shouldn't think i shouldn't think some of our other signings will be uh so yeah gradle's got to be uh unveiled by yaffa you sit here alongside new signing max gradle are you pleased to have got your man yeah i'm delighted of course uh, what impact, if any, will the signing have on the rest of the Newcastle squad? Um, I'm sure it lift everyone. Are you confident the Grados can produce? Yeah, of course. Match can be won and lost in a single one. Do you? Yeah. I don't want to say I certainly hope so. That's like, well, it's just like putting too much pressure on him. And yeah, to be honest, I didn't. I don't know. I don't wish to talk about individuals. Uh, best position. Hmm. What is his best position? I should put that there, <laughs> tag him if you're alright. So select down for that one. Presumably that's where I'll fit in. So he'll play mainly there. Yeah. The deal for Grader was a fairly cheap one, but do you sell spending? Uh, I don't wanna do that. Okay, yeah, so we got Gradle and hopefully he can yeah. Are we gonna be able to sign uh Ben and Torre and Olsen before the game? We're gonna have to wait for after one. No, it's just about the interview. So yeah, we're going into the match now against Gateshead, and yeah, hopefully we can just experiment, uh, use quite a lot of our, as many uh, players as possible. So I'm just gonna quick pick it. So we've got Sissoko, Gradle. Yeah, I was thinking to having not a backup tactic, but kind of an equal tactic, because I know like it might be they probably won't get as you know cohesive with the formation as you would if you just focused on one and had maybe a backup one i was thinking of having like two main main formations so like that this one and then like four two three one wide which is um as you saw my f uh, favorite like as you put is your favorite at the start of the game so um for some reason i can't find it oh no it's up here that's why so maybe having that as an extra tactic um might be worth it because yeah i had i had um just played around with it for a bit but yeah i think i think it could i could because there are a lot of players that can play in the attacking midfield left and attacking midfield right but there are also some good players that can play in this position cabela so i kind of wanted two in there but yeah what because this this formation i don't know what it'd be called like a four one four one would just be two attacking um yeah if you put this over there but that would probably be perfect to fit in with the players I want to sign and that are already at the club. But yeah, I don't think that's particularly practical. So yeah, I'm going to just organise this tattoo right now uh, for you guys um, because I want to like change some of the um, like duties. Is that the word? So yeah, on one of the central midfielders, I want a deep line playmaker on support. So that can be the guy on the left. And then the other one, I always have a um, ball winning midfielder and... Should I do support or defend? Hmm. If I put support, does he go? He goes level with Anderson, so they're kind of similar roles. Hmm. With yeah, I'm just gonna leave them. No, I put ball winning midfielder on defend, but then um, with the full with the full backs, I'm gonna put them on like complete wing back or wing back just wing back. I'm gonna put them on wing back on support. Should I do that? Yeah. Um, because then they can just like support the attack and that that is like s that tactic is supported by in my instructions which I'm going to put look for the overlap. Um, whenever you have wing backs you should always put look for the overlap on because they're always there like trying to get around the wing especially if you already have wingers as well. So yeah I'll put look for the overlap and obviously I'll do my normal one which is retain, pass into space, put ball into box, run at defence um close down more do i put stay on feet no i'll just leave that and then higher tempo so that's what my uh, instructions are going to be um so yeah i've done those wing backs all the rest is the same oh i might 
Oh yeah, and advanced forward, I think I'm going to put... we got... Look at our strikers. We've got Facundo Ferreira. And we've got Rivier and Jose Perez. And obviously Pepe Cissé to come back in. So where can they play? So Pepe Cissé is better as a complete forward. Which, yeah, I think actually is right with him. Um, Facundo Ferreira... He is best as an advanced forward, um, but both of them have poacher as the second one, so I might like to like do that so it can like incorporate all of them. Uh, let's have a look at Riviere. He is a complete forward, and he's not got poacher anywhere on there. Um, and what about what is it going? Oh yeah, Jose. He's a trackerist. Yeah, none of them really share apart from complete forward. Three of them have, but then who is it? I think it's. Pereira just doesn't have it at all on the top three like roles for that position yeah but I might yeah I'm gonna put complete forward and then Pereira I probably can train well I can, I will train him for that so complete forward on attack and yeah he's not too bad at it so must be like four foot or whatever on his um preferred like roles in his position so yeah I'm just gonna leave this tactic but today I'm gonna play on this tactic oh, I'm just gonna go back quickly because I haven't done these so I'm gonna do uh Maybe this could be the, the attacking one, and then this could be a counter one. I don't know. Um, yeah, I'll just put that. I'll put that on fluid. Oh no, that's from. Put that on fluid. So yeah, I think we've got the tactic here, and I'm just gonna submit. The, oh no, I'm gonna use that one, aren't I? <laughs> yeah, sorry. So I'm just gonna quick pick it because it's the first day of the season. Um, I'll leave Gradle there. I mean, he's not really. He's below av below average at that particular wide midfielder automatic oh, automatic. I don't want automatic. I want support. So yeah, support, support, and fullbacks on support and support. I didn't really do this tactic very well <laughs> last episode. But yeah, that's what I'm gonna have that on. Uh, and this is complete forward, as I said on the other tactic. Um, other than that, I think that's pretty much right. Uh, yeah, central midfielder. I just want it because there's only one. I just have him as like central midfielder, but on defend. So yeah, that's the tactic. Quick pick because it's preseason and submit the team. So yeah, that was a bit of a drawn out affair, but um. So hopefully I got two solid tactics there that can um do really well for me in the season. So on to the game with Gateshead. Let me just continue this first bit. There's our team. So obviously Gradle involved at the signings and Anderson on the bench so I'm bring him on at half time probably um i'm not i don't i'm not don't really know much about the geeks head squad if i'm honest john oster i've heard of he's played for reading or someone um quite high up but yeah other than that i just i'll just yeah i'll let john carver my assistant guy do it and all he's done is weaker foot matty patterson is that no it's carl finnegan so yeah i'm just trusting him on that i mean he's not the best assistant manager but you know I'm not gonna it's only a preseason so yeah I'm just gonna preseason or not you've got to win matches like this against yeah against a team like Gateshead who are in the uh, Banorama conference is it Banorama this season yeah because it's been Blue Square and then screw it all, I think it's Banorama Banorama conference this season so yeah uh, no reactions good or bad but there's a lot of listen keenly so and uh, one seemed deep in thought which is Stephen Taylor so yeah hopefully we can do well Start match. Okay, so I'm just gonna have it on. Hang on, I just gotta check. Is it on 2D? Yeah, and then goal action direct. Okay, key highlights. Okay, so that's all right. So yeah, I'm gonna have it on 2D uh, as I did in my other saves, other save which I've now deleted. Um, but yeah, uh, so yeah, 2D on normal highlights, and when we score a goal or it's an offside, which which was a goal. Then uh, they'll show it on 3D. So yeah, his Gradle, to Jan Matt. Yeah, and just to give you a little update, actually after after this highlight because we look dangerous. Go on, Gradle, and Ferreira heads it in. Great start. What a start to preseason. 43 seconds, I think that went in. Kundu Ferreira, great loan signing from Shakhtar Donetsk. Obviously that was the club, not me. Uh, he was there before I uh, came. So yeah, it looks like a good signing. So yeah, just take a minute now to um, update you. Um, I'm getting that new PC um, very soon, actually, in the next like ten days or so. I'd say 
between a week and 10 days um i'll be getting that setting it up and um and hopefully my videos will be of better quality but yeah that'll come in the soon days sorry about the lag this will literally <laughs> this will be 10 times better um but yeah there's Ferreira knocked it through the legs of bowler and yeah great start to the season just um today i'm just looking for good performances but for players to like stake their place in the team and oh my ayose what a goal 17 minutes in we're tuning up and that's ayose perez with a great finish i wasn't even exp i didn't think we were even anywhere near the goal sissoko just played it to him and then he just smashes it on like i don't know was it half volley and it just goes in a great goal from uh, the edge of the box from Ayuse, so yeah. Obviously it says that his best uh, position is striker, but Ayuse can definitely fit in in the attacking midfield central positions. And, oh, John Oster scores. Gay said we've got one back. I didn't really see that coming. <laughs> um, yeah, fair play to them. Passes and just played in the corner, John Oster lost his man and volleyed it in. Ooh, I was kind of hoping for a clean sheet, but that's gone out the window now, so hopefully we can score a few more goals, make the uh, scoreline look a bit more in our favour. Yeah, as we approach half time. So obviously I'm going to make, well, not obviously, but uh, at half time in pre season, I just make 11 subs. So just, well, as many as I can with not playing players at position. So yeah, Elliot can come on for Kroll. Steven, oh no, it's Ryan Taylor, come on for Jan Matt. Anderson can come on for Sissoko. Ribier. Is there any other strikers? No, yeah, Rivier can come on for Freya. Colback. Mm. i tell you what, I'll bring him on for Tabea. And then I can play Anderson there because I think he can play there decently. Yeah, that's not too bad. So, uh, Medi, and he's another midfield centre. Oh, and so is Anita. And Broccoli. So, yeah, that's annoying. Um, I'll just leave them off for now. So Overtime, bring on for Gradle. Amiobi, bring on for Gufran. Williamson, bring on for... Bring on for Steven Taylor. And Dummett can come on for Hydara. So, yeah. Um, obviously, Dummett hasn't moved yet. I just accepted the offer. So when that, um, when that goes through... So this will probably be just like his goodbye match um, to the Gateshead fans. I was going to say the Newcastle fans, but obviously we're away. Um, yeah, I think Newcastle and Gateshead are like right by each other. So maybe that's maybe we've got like an affiliate with them or or something like that. Um, yeah. So come on, score a few more goals. Ayose is looking tired. Probably should have brought him off instead of. Uh, the other guy, um, Kabea. Yeah, it's early days. I mean, if he, even if he gets injured, we've got all pre-season to recover. And here's Ryan Taylor. And it's just cleared straight away. Back to him. Oh, no, he's lost it. They, they're on the break. Be, be Uli. Well, he's not going anywhere fast. But, yeah, here's Oster, the goal scorer. Muat on a yellow card towards Bagley. Come on, tackle. He kept, he, he kept it there for ages and just... Look like like fours like going to him and then coming back and but that's a great ball by Dummett and Rivier's in and he's finished three one, good finish Emmanuel Rivier and he takes his place for a starting striker spot. Obviously he's got competition from Puppy Cisse and a few others, but uh, Cisse's injured right now so yeah and Ferreira obviously is another one and uh, Ayose but I'll probably look to use Ayose in attacking midfield central position more. As he's playing right now. So yeah, oh damn it's injured. Good send him off to um Oh, I hope he passes medical before this game. Oh, that'd be annoying. Okay, what we're we gonna do. Um we could go just bring on a center mid because that's all we got left, isn't it? And then we could go three at the back, I guess, and then bring him there. So we're playing like a three, four, two, one. And can my tail come in the middle? No. Can I need to because um he is defensive midfield orange. I guess I can play like two at the back and then that. 
Well, I'm having too many midfield, uh, central midfielders put me in a bit of a pickle here, but that'll just confirm that. Why not? We've only got um, 19 minutes left, and uh, if uh, if we somehow lose, I uh, yeah, it's I understand because we're not playing a great formation. But yeah, no pressure on Stefan Broccoli, the young player that um, I raised up to the senior squad. Team relax, and we're gonna need to. I can't say I'm facing you because I'm selling you, but um, yeah, go and no, I shouldn't have done that. But yeah, he looks happy. Why not? If he if he scores a goal, great. Um, but yeah, so confirm changes, and hopefully we can uh, just three one would probably be okay at this point. Oh, Anderson's picked up a knock as well. I'll just quick sub him for the any Abid. Abid looks like he might be able to play there. Uh, where am I going? Where is Anderson? There he is. Oh, but yeah, I just confirm that. Just riding out these last 10 minutes. Johnson gets the car for them. Uh, this hasn't been a particularly amazing performance in pre season, uh, but hopefully, hopefully, performances will uh, improve and we can make a good start to the Premier League when it comes around. So yeah, there's full time. That's the final highlight here at the Gateshead International Stadium. I think that's where they do athletic, like the main athletic stadium in Britain. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm not gonna be passionate. I'll just say assertive. We got away with that. You're poor out there. Hopefully they'll get motivated from that. And yeah, a load of players too. Because I think we played everyone. Yeah, we did because um, Anderson and Taylor got injured. So yeah, uh, everyone getting a bit of match fitness at least. So, yeah, this is where I'm going to round off the episode. Um, I've been the FM Gaffer, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.